So my friends, in this video, we're taking a look at the Habada E3 ergonomic office chair. Now, the team from Habada reached out to me and asked if I would do a review of their chair. And I don't normally do that, but it did look really interesting. It's got some great features. And as I have a bad back, I thought I would give it a go. So let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So first of all, I'm gonna run through the setup process. And the first thing to say is this chair is pretty heavy. It comes in a box and it's about 25 kilos. All of the components are there clearly marked and the setup process is straightforward. From start to finish, it took me roughly about an hour. You start off by assembling the legs and you just use one Allen key for the whole of this process. So it really is very simple. Once you've done the legs, add the casters and then you've got the movement. Pop in the hydraulic lifting mechanism and then we're going to attach the leg support to the bottom of the seat base. Make sure you pop this in the right way around because again, you don't want it facing the wrong direction. Next up, you're going to attach the arms. Now, obviously, if you don't want to have the arms on, then you don't need to do this process. But obviously, most people will have them. But it's very simple. It's just three screws per arm. And again, just make sure you put these the right way around so they're facing the right direction. Now, this is that leg support and this is the mechanism for tucking it underneath. It was a little bit confusing to start off with, but essentially what you do is just slide it out, fold the leg supports round, and then tuck it back. And again, when you want to actually use the leg supports, you just do the reverse of that. And it does tuck away nice and neatly. Although you see the bar, it doesn't actually interfere with the seating process. Okay, next up is attaching that hydraulic mechanism, the actual controls, to the bottom of the seat base. And again, this is just four simple screws. Once that's been completed, the next stage is going to be to attach to the back of the actual chair. I did this upside down, it's the best way of doing it. You may need to get somebody else to help you lift it on because as I mentioned, it is pretty heavy. Once the back is on, you then just drop it onto the hydraulic lifting mechanism and that's the chair pretty much complete. Now you can sit on it, you can go up, you can go down, you can test the functions of the chair. But there's one more thing that you do need to do and that's attach the headrest if you want to. Again, you don't have to, but but I recommend doing this because it definitely adds extra support. And that headrest will move up and down as well. There's a little cover once you've fixed the headrest on just to cover up the screws. And there you go, guys. The chair is complete and it's ready to use. Now I'll go through some of the functions about this chair in just a second, but I wanted just to give you my initial thoughts. And that is that the build quality of this chair is incredibly good. It's very solid. As I mentioned, it does weigh quite a lot, but that also is a good thing. This isn't gonna break anytime soon. It feels very robust. The head support, the fact that that moves up and down and its mesh means it's incredibly comfortable. And having that adaptive lumbar support as well, which is elastic, means that it, that can go up and down and it gives brilliant support to anyone that has lower back issues. There are many functions which you can adapt on this chair as well. So we spoke about the headrest and the lumbar support, but also the arms. These, you can see the little silver button, which you just squeeze in, and then the arm will raise and then lower. And you can set it at different heights in between. And the arm rests will also move in and out. Now, when you've been working for too long, you may want to have a little rest, and those leg supports are definitely a way that you can chill out without having to change chair. Literally just slide out the rests and then just lean back. And with the reclining mechanism on, you can go back quite a long way and definitely take the weight off. Now, within their marketing material, it does say that sitting in this for a full day's work, so eight hours, is definitely going to be fine and you'll stay comfortable. As I mentioned yesterday, I did it for about six hours with very limited breaks and I was absolutely fine. In fact, it was better than fine. It was really, really comfortable. It almost feels at the point that you're almost floating, not really sitting on any hard surface, which is really good. Now, obviously, this is a YouTube review, which they've supplied me with the chair, so I know there's some skeptical people out there, but I do recommend you follow the link in the description and read some of the independent reviews as well, because pretty much everybody that buys this chair has great things to say about it, because it does offer just so much support and so much comfort, and that seems to be the general theme in the independent reviews where people have had it, the fact that it's customizable and it's very comfortable. Those were the main things that came across. 
Another fantastic feature which I hadn't really appreciated until I got this chair was the mesh design. Not only does it offer a little bit of spring so it gives you a little bit more comfort, but because it's a mesh it is very breathable and so therefore it just doesn't get as hot. And sitting this for a long period in a hot day in a hot office definitely means that you're not going to be sweating out at the back. Which unfortunately it sounds gross but that is something which I've definitely had when I've sat on leather chairs and other plastic chairs. Now if you're more of a chunky monkey like myself and carry a little bit of extra timber then you'll be pleased to hear that this has been tested for higher weights. Up to 78 kilos 120,000 times and the backrest pressure test has been met and also the gas cylinder lift 120,000 times. As is always in my reviews, I do try to look for the negative so that I can properly inform you. And I do have to say there's not many negatives. Certainly from the comfort and the actual function of the chair, everything is great. I guess that if I was being ultra critical, there is quite a lot of black plastic, particularly on the back, so that might be an issue. And if those leg rests were more automatic, if there was a button, then that would be ideal for the lazy person. But literally, I am trying to find something wrong with it when really there isn't that much. And the only other thing which you do have to be aware of is that this thing is heavy. So once it's in place, it's not going to be the type of chair where you can carry it up and down stairs that easily because it does weigh quite a lot. But hopefully that won't be too much of an issue for you. But if you're looking for a chair that not only looks pretty good, but is incredibly comfortable and is one that you can sit in for multiple periods of time and also kick back and relax on, then this Habada E3 ergonomic office chair may be the one for you. So check out the link in the description so that you can find the latest price in your location. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope that you have found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next review from All Things Tech.